G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase video series where you guys send me your artwork and uh, I pick 10 every week to showcase in the video and one of which is picked to be the front page feature on that week on Newgrounds.com. So uh, I will mention before we start, just uh, for those who are new, um, for everyone who sends me artwork, whether it's featured or not, it's uh, put on my Tumblr page uh, at jazzestudios.tumblr.com. And also another thing to keep in mind uh, is that generally it getting in the video is over a month from the time that it's sent to me because I get a lot of entries build up and I don't like um, leaving out entries that I think should get in the showcase. So it tends to kind of extend that a bit. So there's a bit of a delay. Anyways, getting started. The first piece is by artist Rated M for Mature and it's called I'm Batman. It, uh, it was originally a sketch in the Batman comic style, which was scanned in Photoshop and then painted, which, as you can see, has been extremely well executed. It looks quite like uh, the old school comic style look. It's really well coloured and really well represented and executed. Uh, the line work in particular is really quite well done. Now, I'm not sure if the background is taken from elsewhere. It does seem to be, but that aside, the character's pose itself is quite good. So if you go check that out, they actually have a link to a speed painting in which they did that, so you can go check that out yourself. Next piece by artist Don't Wake the Neighbor is called Kia and I'm not exactly sure what it's meant to be some kind of wolf thing but I really like the style the line work and the weight variation the expression and the cleanliness of the style overall is really polished it's got this nice sort of glowy feel about it it's a really soft radiant sort of picture and just the detail overall is just really beautiful in the eyes and in the uh, the line work overall so I think they've done a really great job thank you for sharing that with us. Our next piece is by artist No B Only Zool and it's called Tread Lightly and for anyone who watches Breaking Bad I won't say any spoilers but man it's cool and that's one of the reasons I had to feature this aside from it being well painted is the fact that I love the theme I love Breaking Bad anyone who watches uh, my videos knows that from time to time I mention it because it is my favorite TV series above everything so uh, thank you for painting this really great ode to Walter White it's very well done I like it, the stylistic nature of his face it's very caricaturized but at the same time it's uh it, it's not over the top it's still true to the to the character himself so thanks for sharing that with us Next piece by the incredibly talented anti-skill is Neo Genesis. Now, uh, this kind of artwork is the caliber of which I would be a terrible person if I didn't give it the front page feature, but this artist has uh, wonderfully made their way to uh, having a lot of followers and getting a lot of success on their own as well. So uh, I would be featuring an artwork like this, but I tend to like to leave room for some people who haven't had as much exposure. But I do need to mention that this person deserves all the credit that they get because anti-skill is an incredibly talented artist you need to check out more of his artwork if you haven't because he challenges himself and does different styles um, and every time it's done it's been ex executed fantastically and some of my favorite artworks on your rounds are from this guy so make sure to check out his work and thank you again for submitting to the artist showcase uh, so that we can show everyone your awesome artwork our next piece is by Caddy C and it's called Kunkka the Admiral uh, and this is by an artist who also seems to be one of my favourites because first of all she has an incredible painting style and second of all a lot of them are Dota 2 themed and I'm a big fan of that. That aside, as you can see, it's got this really lovely, crisp, polished style to it. And, and the rim lighting, the really thin white rim lighting on the edges are in all the right places and just enough to really make the image pop. And you can see how just such a simple technique of rim lighting can just really bring something out. That aside, the overall painting tone and style is really smooth. Uh, it's very stylistic and cartoony, but at the same time, it's almost tangible and uh, really well done in terms of its ambient occlusion and, and the way that it's rounded off and it has that soft feel. Really great work. Thank you for sharing that with us, Caddy C. Next piece by artist Neil Galbraith, or Sketchnate, is Wading Bear. And I like the description where it says, I was playing Dead Island and I got to a part where this tribal dude was wearing nothing but a short loincloth and, and some weirdly shaped mask. I immediately stopped playing so I could draw this. I'm glad you did because it's highly entertaining. It's stylistically uh, really polished and pops out it stands out on its own and it's also much more refined uh, than many of this artist's previous work which uh, stands for a bit of a commendation in the sense that this person is obviously challenging themselves and making some great progress so thank you for sharing that with us today next piece by artist or 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 or
is called Ethanor Death's Advance. And as you can see, it's something of an armored warhorse, really well painted and depicted. There's a bit of a something of a fire ambience here on the bottom left, which is uh, being reflected on the horse's body enough to help make it look third dimensional as well as the rim lighting from the background light uh, emanating from the top right so there's a good sense of space in this image it's quite dramatic and it's extremely impressive in comparison to this artist's previous work they too are challenging themselves and making some fantastic progress really great to see keep sending in your artwork you're doing a really good job thank you for sharing that with us next piece by artist i'm cost along is called blade runner slash tears in rain it's got this really nice painterly sort of feel it accurately gets this wet uh, aesthetic to it. Now, that's something that can be really difficult to pull off. The other thing that I really appreciate in uh, certain painting styles that can pull it off is when tones and colors are mixed uh, in a way that it wouldn't conventionally be done so. For example, we can see blue, purple, red, and uh, crimson all in the skin tone and yet all together it turns into the skin tone itself so it neither looks blue nor purple nor pink but at the same time uh, it holds together while holding all of those colors i think that's really interesting it's very artistically adventurous uh, and really pleasing to see because it, it's too easy often as an artist to shade solely in the color that you're working with perhaps with the addition of a, a hint or tint of color from a light source or something like that so it's really pleasant to see someone not only explore so much in that sense but also accurately portray something as difficult to portray as wetness in skin and uh, refractions of the light on that wet skin so really great job thanks for sharing that with us look forward to seeing more of your artwork our next piece is by artist senseless squirrel and it's called scott pilgrim poster thing it's a really well composed image clean line work and and really nice color balance and everything kind of comes together in a really cool way, obviously based on the original comic series. There's not too much to say about this because it really speaks for itself. It's got strong comp strong composition uh, and everything works into each other, the characters' expressions. There's nothing not polished about it. It's a really great job. So thanks for sharing that with us. And the final piece and feature of the week is a little different this time because we have Chase Salmon who did The Cinder Man. And it's, as you can see, a very impressive and fantastic image. And there's an, another image uh, that this same artist uh, submitted only a week or two after submitting this one on the same theme uh, which he and I uh, both think is much more impressive uh, and so I thought I'd feature the second one even though he didn't message it to me or mention it at all uh, I noticed it and thought that I wanted to feature that one for the artist showcase feature because uh, not only is it an improvement over the one that was sent to me which is in itself very impressive but this artist obviously has some great skill and i think this piece in particular deserves a front page feature and a bit of attention it looks really cool i love the depth the background looks really nice and the way the light bal balances off this character <clears throat> The, uh, the flames on his chest and the overall tone of the image is so dark and powerful. It's really, really cool. It kind of reminded me of uh, that Dark Siders game. It's got a bit of that aesthetic to it. Uh, overall, just a fantastically composed and polished piece. Really fantastic work. I look forward to seeing more of their artwork. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this week's Artist Showcase series and I hope that you check out more of the artwork. Now for the dozens of people who submitted their artwork showcase in the week that this was composed, uh, they uh, while not in this video are shown on the Tumblr page so make sure to go to jazzastudios.tumblr.com and uh, if you're interested in entering the showcase stay tuned for the post roll in which you will be informed on how to do that. Otherwise that is it for this week's artist showcase and until next time I'll see you later. Do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next showcase video? Upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com. Send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the artist showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.